all right here we are for the three two one live limitless show and today we have a special guest with us and uh, her name is dr anjali kalamdani and i'm very pleased to introduce dr anjali here she is a pathologist by profession and having completed her mbbs and md she has been working uh, in her field from uh, since many decades and in bangalore and currently i think she is stuck up somewhere in mumbai because of uh, the covid thing she is not able to travel back to bangalore but that didn't stop us from having this wonderful chat with her and interview her for this uh, show uh, welcome dr anjali welcome to the show thank you dr anjali let's start with the first question because i'll be asking you a bunch of questions here our viewers are waiting to see your answers let me get straight to the point and ask you my first question which is first of all i would like to know why did you take medicine as a subject of study uh, ram when i was a child and i went to the doctor for an operation on fever or cough i would see him at the age of say around 4 or 5 Uh, he would take his stethoscope and uh, put it on my chest and tell my parents that this child has something whatever i wouldn't understand what he said so i would always be amazed with the fact that he is putting that stethoscope to my chest and listening to what my body tells him and he is making the diagnosis so i was very uh, amazed and even on that day one day i decided that i will also this put the stethoscope to someone else's test and uh, see what uh, their uh, body talks to me so that idea went on uh, increasing strengthening and finally here i am today a doctor fantastic so, so this is a, this is a childhood dream that came true <laughs> for yes, you yes <laughs> amazing amazing so what is your interpretation of uh, modern medicine modern medicine is uh, i think about uh, 600 700 years old but it's a very powerful tool in uh, regulating and maintaining and restoring health of the society on a very large scale and uh, we play a big role like say in uh, diagnoses and in uh, uh, even in the investigations we do and the latest investigations which have helped medicine come up in a huge way and the surgical procedures everything the modern medicine is a really great tool in uh, helping people maintain their health fantastic doctor thank you for the perspective let me go a little deeper and ask you this question um is, do you think modern medicine like 4 500 600 years old uh, modern medicine what we call as today is adequate in dealing with the health issues of today or of society today any health issue i classify it under two categories one is something which is inflicting us from outside and one is something which is coming from within so that which is inflicting us from outside is infections let us say tuberculosis and other acute infections or the present day uh, coronavirus infection all of that is an outside uh, uh, infliction and there are some uh, diseases due to altered states within the body uh, which happen like let's say an altered immune system within the body and uh, there are a lot of other chronic illnesses so these two kinds of illnesses whatever is there due to an outside infliction our modern medicine has found a huge number of tools like say antibiotics and anti inflammatory uh, drugs all of them really help and uh, in uh, taking away the disease from individuals and from society at large even today as we see there are a lot of people who are working on developing vaccines against coronavirus it is an infective disease and it will uh, find its uh, the people will find cures for them but there are some illnesses which arise due to alteration within the body and that our ancient system of medicine which we call ayurveda that is knowledge of ayusha that is life and quality of life so that system of medicine is very good in finding that 
and uh, a, a little bit of change in the diet a little bit of change in the um, medications and uh, some additions subtractions the way of life and i have seen a lot of people do very well with these uh, let's say allergies or the spondylitis or chronic musculoskeletal diseases so there ayurveda plays a role and by and large since uh, the diseases of the population are um infected or even let's say diabetes etc we are uh, more armed with medicines to take care of these diseases in the modern medicine system fantastic so that is what i look at that is how i look at and it is very interesting that is coming from a medical doctor like you this this kind of perspective that makes it very interesting doctor would you also like to share maybe one or two pieces of uh, advice or Uh, a couple of tips for our viewers today again my tips will be health associated only and my biggest uh, tip which i also follow and our family follows and i would also like to give advice i should say to our youngsters pay attention to food the food which we eat is very very important in governing the way and the quality of life we will lead further for example eat fresh food avoid junk food and do not indulge in binge eating all these are uh, tips which go a long way in uh, keeping up the health of the society and uh, another tip which i would say as an indian is that we should never uh, indulge in anything which will either make us feel ashamed of ourselves or that our country will be made to feel ashamed in front of the world this is of course not related to my um, speciality but then this is something i have very deep in my heart absolutely so doctor me. absolutely i agree and see uh, this uh, brings this to my mind for example our cars we take care and do not put any other fuel than it is built for let's say if it is a petrol car we don't put diesel in that or kerosene in that and experiment but in this vehicle that we are you know living for our entire life we put all different things and experiment <laughs> which is very strange i agree with uh, your first advice and the second as well uh, so uh, before we end this conversation doctor is there a resource that you want to share with our viewers today any key resource number one takeaway see today what i observe is there is so much material available on the social media that our youngsters are forgetting to read to get hold of a textbook to open the books or text means it's not a school book but then any general reading material we have forgotten to read so the most important point which will keep our country afloat is a strong reading habit among youngsters so i have been following this for uh, as far as i can remember and uh, i do read a lot of uh, general books in english and in my uh, language kannada and i also read some books related to spirituality etc so two books which i would like the english speaking children of today can pay attention to is one is i was very influenced by um, conversations with god by american author neil donald walsh it comes in a trilogy but it's an excellent book for everyday living either it's individual life or it's a social life or it's a national life it's a great trilogy i should say conversations thing, with god with god hmm. that is written by neil donald walsh w a l s c h so that is one book which has really influenced me and the second book which has influenced me is the power of now that is we should live in the now we cannot uh, be living in the past feeling sad about something which has happened say a year ago 10 years ago and spoiling our today so that also has been written by an american eckhart tolle so that also is a wonderful book for day to day living so these two books are really 
very good uh, companions for anyone who wishes to improve his or her quality of life so this is what i would like to say awesome thank you very much doctor and the two books that you have shared are my favorites too at least one of them eckhart tolle have right uh, the other one i will make a point to buy and read this book as well and thank you for sharing your insights and your perspectives on this show and i also know that uh, uh, you're also a writer and you're coming up with uh, your own book as well which we'll be announcing very soon so with that note positive note thank you so much and guys this was dr anjali kalamdani uh talking to us directly from mumbai because she is there uh, stuck there so not able to come back because of the lockdown but that didn't stop us from having this wonderful conversation for you uh ram here signing off for the live limitless show thank you so much thank you thank you ram thank you viewers i thank you all